Well, good morning, fellow ferreters and interested parties. Doug Dundee on location, almost live. Bringing you another fun-filled day of fantastic ferreting. Now, I've just pulled up into uh, Kevin's place. And I've just gone past a few burrows. There's a lot of rabbits running out there. They're holding a few. So I'll get around to them. Going to do a few, something a bit different today. A few of the smaller burrows that are here. Um, it's pretty early this morning. There's a, quite a few running around. There's another one dropping in over there. And I did that burrow the other day. Still another few on it. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to do a couple of the smaller burrows today that I've got my eyes on. If you remember last time I came out, I did a... Um, A rather large burrow. Jeez, there's a lot of babies over there still. A few rabbits running over here. And today I was going to do these mounds. Here's a bunch of rabbits running out here. Oh, can't see them. I had the camera the wrong way. But I did this this burrow in out, out here. I'll give you a bit of a look. Ten ferrets. Oh, nine ferrets with me today. But there's a few smaller mound burrows that I had my eye on, which is a little rabbits running here, mate. Oh, another one there. Oh, I was going to do these mound burrows here. There's a couple of smaller burrows just over there as well. But there was this big burrow in here, and then these mound burrows, which I'm hoping are separate, and I'm pretty, pretty sure they are. So I was going to try them today. This mound burrow, that mound burrow, maybe that smaller one over there. Just a few of the smaller burrows today. And there's two over near the um, near his house, over that way. Which I just oh, dogs just seen one. That are holding a few as well. So that's what we'll be up to today. Just plenty of fresh digging here, so there's still plenty in that burrow, mate. Look at all the fresh digging there. So I'm just gonna have, I'm just having a bit of a walk around, a little bit of a look. So it's still quite a few rabbits here, that's for sure. Probably spotted about 50 or 60 just driving in. All right, well, that's what I'm up to, guys. So I'll get set up around in Mount Burrows. I'll probably, uh, I might be able to drive into them from the other side over there, so I'll probably do that. And or, just trying to think the best plan of attack. Yeah, I don't want to go driving over the top of them. I'll get stuck in them, but I might, I might just drive over and park over there. Or I can drive in, actually I'll drive in down here, park there, and I'll do that burrow, that mound, that mound, and I'll have a bit of a look what I can do here. But I don't want the same situation happening as last time, I don't want them sort of going through, so I'm walking up and down hills all day. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. I'll get set up somewhere and then I'll put the camera back on. Hope you're all having a good day so far. And Today's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be about 20 degrees Celsius. No wind to speak of. Plenty of ferrets in the car. So it should be a mighty fine day. And I hope yours is too. Okay guys, I've managed to try and do something. Um, this mound here, I've got a long net going all the way around it, back up to there. This mound here, I've got a long, another long net going right around it, back onto this net here, back over there. And if you see that uh, bottom little bit of a burrow there, now these all interconnect, so you can only do what you can do. I mean, I've got out a hundred and I don't know, hundred and fifty, hundred and almost 200 yards along that so um, and I've got it out going out around here 
all the way around that one and then back still a lot of it I can't cover and they, they interconnect that's the trouble and I'm on my own so I have to be wary of um, doing stuff like that where they come out on the other side where I can't see because standing at the top running backwards and forwards up and down is not a good idea not on your own anyway guys that's what I've, that's what I've done I'm just about ready to grab the ferrets I've got um, nine ferrets with me I left the bucks that I'm breeding, Ragnar's going in to get vasectomised on Monday. Um, I have bred him with Storm. I bred Ragnar and Storm. Storm was uh, the best jewel that I bred, or well, the only jewel I kept last year. Um, but she turned into a beauty. So I bred her with Ragnar. Um, I've already bred Lagatha with Rip. I'm going to breed Trixie with Rip. And I'm going to breed Grace. Um, so I've got all the other... I've got nine with me, nine working ferrets with me, and I left a couple at home, but I'm not going to go through them. You'll, you'll see them as I use them. So that's the story, guys. So we're all ready, set up. I'll let it settle for a couple of minutes. Um, and then I'll get some ferrets out, throw them in, and attack these burrows. The plan is, I'll see how I feel but, and how long this takes, um, but there's a couple of small burrows just over near his house. When I drove in, there was quite a few sitting on them, and they're only little burrows. Uh, so we'll see how we go. If I get enough time before it gets too hot, I will endeavour to go and do those two. If not, I'll get them next time I come. But there is quite a few rabbits. They're right next to his house, and, uh, and there's quite a few rabbits in those small burrows. A lot of large rabbits, I've, I've seen a, quite a few small ones, but there's a lot of large rabbits here, so that just indicates to me that um, they've got a reasonable immunity to Mixo and, and the virus. For them to be in the numbers they are here, then they've been breeding untouched and for a little while. Maybe the virus doesn't get here, I'm not too sure. But anyway, there's a creek over the back over there, runs across where those tree line is out the back. Um, and there is good fishing in that creek from time to time. When I call it a creek, it's probably in most places I'd call it a river, but... Anyway, that's what I'm up to, guys. I'll get these ferrets out get back to you. Kevin's just come over. He's standing up there. He's having a bit of a look. You know, but I've got I've got trackers for them, yep. and they only go down 16 feet. <laughs> but um, yeah, in this sort of country, it's a waste of time because because they go into the sides, yep. they're too far down. You know, you never dig them out anyway. But I have got trackers and collars. Yeah, but you don't know, especially in sandy ground, mate. But all the stuff I do is mainly sandy around Drumbury. And even out on um, Gumbauer Island, it's, it's all sandy out there too. There's a big hill I do out there, mate, and it's, I've cleaned it up a bit now, but geez, there's still a few rabbits there. Nothing, mate, I can't believe it. I don't know what's going on. But I've been fishing that river for a long time, mate. I've never seen it this bad. And the water's right up. Last oh, two and a half weeks, it's been good level, you know. I thought, oh, it'll settle down a bit and it'll be all right. But they're letting a lot of, a lot of water down too, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether I've lost my touch or... But I was ta everyone I'm talking to on the river, I'm asking them, because I stop and have a chat, and um, no one's catching anything. I've got a mate who lives out here near Kahuna and he fishes the creek all the time. He makes a few lures and, um, and he's been catching the odd one, he said, but it's not like usual, you know. So he doesn't know what's going on either. Trouble with um, this time of year is they'll kill all the babies first and then they'll chase the big ones out. So you normally wait a bit at the start. That's good for you, at least they're killing all the young ones. 
You try and tell people a full-grown rabbit eats up to half a kilo of grass a day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, people don't believe it. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. Up to half a kilo a day. So if you got a thousand rabbits, it's a lot of grass, mate. Like I said, I'll put a big hole in them, mate. I won't get them all, but I'll put a hole in them. All right, enjoy your day, Kev. Baby just come up there, half just like was under half crown, come up there. So Tilly and Jess in at the moment. That's the main burrow I'm worried about, that one there. Because that goes straight across into this. And all that one I'm getting in there. So the parents are chasing them out, but they'll be killing the young ones at the moment. Oh, there's one. Oh. All right, all right, good dogs. Mine, mine, feet, feet. Sip, good girl. Ah, mine. somewhere. Chase. No, 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 don't go in there. That's it. Here's one. Good girl, good boy. All right, all right. Fleet, Fleet, come, come. Good boy. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Good boy. Mine. I think he bit the dog then. Yeah, deep they go. Pretty deep. Stand up here. Tilly. Back down. There goes Grace. Uh, Chase, I mean. Just up.
standing up here I can see both burrows. <coughs> Look at the blood on her face, jeez. I'll show you when she comes out, she was covered in blood then. There she is. Look at the blood on her nose, mate. Back down. Dog heard something. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Good girl, Zip. Good girl, Zip. That, that, that rabbit come out and it was all, he was already bitten up. There's the ferret right after it. Chase. Good girl, Zip. So she's had a hold of this. Here she is, look. Chase. Oops, something going on. Very have been biting that one up, that's for sure. See Zip, I cut all her hair off, I shaved her because the weather's warming up. Looks more like a whippet now. She doesn't like the heat, so if you take the hair off, she's a bit more comfortable. I'll just gut these rabbits and put them in the esky. did sharpen my knives the other day.
there it's getting a bit of liver telly covered in blood dot 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 so only Tilly and Chubby now. They're killing a few young ones. But that'll, drop. <coughs> that'll be okay. We'll get two or three out of here, two or three out of here, two or three out of there. I won't be disappointed because they're not very big burrows. This Chub. Dot, 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 dot. Might be done this little oh, back down. And when I get a chance now, I'll pick them up and move across to the next one. Got Tilly back now, and I'm just waiting for Chubb. She did just show her head down there again, and then went straight back down. As soon as I get her, I'll pick her up, and we'll move across to that that burrow there, and then we'll go over to the bigger one. I'll put the, the cup bucks in that one. A little Chubb. I will put Chubb in this next burrow with a couple other of the other days. There she goes. This one's in the shade. I just put them all in the shade, it's starting to warm up a little bit already. guys in the shade. Here's Mini. Just work Chubb and Mini in here for now. Little Mini. She's a bit better now. She had a bit of a cold but I put her on antibiotics and she's come good. Here's Little Mini. One ferret in there, chub in there, mini in there. Grab another ferret out. Put Tess in. So three fer ferrets in here now. We got Tess. Dog seen one over there. Tess Mini, it looks like Tess and Chubb. That could be Mini. So the second burrow is a, is a, uh, a zero. It's not that big, so I'm pretty sure the ferrets worked it. Sort of like two sections to it, one here and over here. It probably joined somewhere, but... I think it joins up in the top here. General till he flew down there's Chewy and the general. I just dropped them down, let them find their own way. Oh. 
wants to play. Great looking pair of chewy. Oh jeez. That looks like it comes over here. The general. So we've got the general Tilly and Chewy in. Might get try and get the general one of them up in here if I get a chance. Tess, come on, Tess, come up in here. Oh, actually, maybe not. Back down. Tilly. Uh, Tess, I mean. Mix them two up, they're so alike. But Tilly's got a chopped tail. General. Back down. I will drop them in over here. Very surprised I got nothing out of this. I thought there'd be something here for sure. General and Tilly. I might drop the general in over this side. Have a look over here, mate. No, they're all coming up in this burrow. So I might move across over to this one. So all the ferrets work through that burrow and found nothing. They've come up out of every hole, that's for sure. Come on, come on Tess. The ferrets are coming up out of that one too. Might just grab the carry box. Nothing going on. Might just go out here and work a few of these burrows without nets, push them out and see if I can get them to run into the net. It's another option I've got. Bit, bit of a burrow there, it's one over there. I'll just worry about them connecting here. But I'll have to get these ferrets back first. Get back to you guys. A little bit disappointing. Got the um, Chewy and Test back now. Just get, get wait. Just wait for the general. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, that's the general. I'll just walk over here. Drop him in over here. Oh, it might be all right. We'll see what happens. Put the general down on his own. Oh. 
weird. Should we in on his own? Who, 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 if you move through the burrow this bloke. Up, 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 up. Something going on. Oh, I can hear it squealing. He's got all of it, mate. I heard it squealing. Dog can hear it too. Down there somewhere. So you'll kill that one, that's the one that fleet chased there before, it was only a young one. Hey. Get out. Chewy, he would have killed that. Back to the box. Two thirds down, Tilly and the general. <coughs> That's her over there. I'm just trying to get them to run out of here and hopefully they'll head that way. If not, the dogs will chase them. I've got Chewy too. I might just stick Chewy in here. They killed a couple in the other burrow. And bolted one out. And <coughs> so they're not bolting real good today. They're, they're killing a few underground. But that's all right. That's fair enough. I get them all the time. Nowhere to stick Chewy. Might um where to put him down the bottom there or
Ooh. Ooh. He's got a lot of cats. He's a good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're as fast as lightning, mate. Catch a full grown buck like that. Good boy, mate. He's a good dog. Good boy, good dogs. Look, look, look. Ooh, ooh. Two of them come up then. A few in this burrow. Watch him. Until he was right, um, Tess was right behind him. Funny, you get the other burrows right next to it, there's none, and this one's got a few. Good girl, Zip. Probably heard something. Look, look, who, who, who? Hit the net, bang. That's what we were hoping. Good job, mine, mine. That's what we were hoping. Oh, there goes one. Got down. One ran across the top. And down into that burrow. If I was standing up there, probably would have gone the other way. <clears throat> well, it makes it a little bit more respectable. I was getting a bit concerned after doing these warrants here and not getting many. There's a few in this burrow, that's for sure. That one that ran out and over there was a big one. And I've seen a couple of... Look at that. 
could go away. So you know for next time where to, where to run them when you do this sort of thing. All you do is put a long net across there, you'll be right. Ooh. Another big one. Zip just missed that one. Tilly back down. Ooh. Rabbit came out there and went back in. Tilly. Uh, Tess, I mean. Back down. Always get them two mixed up. So had I had the net on this one, I would have had four or five already. That's all right, mate. They'll still be here next time. Kevin's just giving me access to this next paddock here, where there's there's a few burrows along the fence and out, out in the open. So I've got access in there now, which is good. <laughs> Baby one ran across here. There's a lot of still nice burrows. There's one there's one just right there's one right there that's got a few. On the other side of the radio tower there's a a, a mound. And I've seen a bunch of them running there today so Next time I come, I'll be the first two I hit. Then I'll shoot out to this paddock. Dogs are getting hot. Alright, there we go. General. Dot, 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 dot. What I might do. Pick the ferrets up when they come up. Shoot out. I might go out there to the paddock out here. There is a couple out in the open there. Just put a long net around, but it'll take me a little while to pack everything up. We'll see what happens. Such a nice day out here today. It's, it is getting warm, but it's not overbearing. Dogs are feeling a lot more than me. Straighten the net. Bang. Oh, he meant got out. Ooh. Oh, what a catch. Great catch. Bang. Great catch, mate. Good boy. Good dogs. Good dogs. Mine. Mine. Hit the net, bounced out. Dog got him. Good catch, mate. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Go fix that net up. Do I need to? Yeah, I'll do. Geez, not often they get out of that net, mate. That's a, a finer net. I 
normally when they hit this one and heaps, heaps of bagging on it, look at that so I'm surprised he got out of that get more without the nets than we were with the nets oh there's Chewy down the bottom Back down. So I've caught a few on the ground and pushed a few out, that's good. Three nice big ones out of here. There he is. Hi, Chewy. You're squirming just till you to go. Ah, uh, Tessa, mate. And I'll pack the long nets up. Oh guys, might turn the camera off for now. I'll, I'll pick Tess up when she comes out. Then I'll pack all these long nets up and then decide what I'm going to do. All right guys, all packed up now and I'm, I'm just um, shooting out to a, a spot I know up here, out in the open. I was talking to Kevin and he said, yeah mate, out there if you want. He said there's a couple along the fence here, a couple of burrows, and there's also a couple out here in the open. There's one over on my, just to my immediate right, and one up a little bit further. There is one just in here on the fence, and I'll get around to that. And there's one there, and there's one up a little bit further up here on the right. And there's a couple out in the open. I'm going to go and do one of the ones out in the open. You can drive straight through to it. There's another burrow just in here. On both sides of the fence. And I know they're here because I, uh, I walked out here not long ago. Alright guys, it's getting pretty warm. So what I did is I put half a long net round this burrow. I left that side of it open. I don't want to spend all day setting that up. It's getting hot already. I'm already sweating. So I'll, I'll do this burrow and I'll do a couple of the other ones next time, but I'll do this one first pretty big, so I'll drop in a few ferrets, give them a good run. I've got a couple that haven't been worked and I'll put them in first, which is Jess and, who's it? and Fang, Jess and Fang. So they can go in first. Pretty two good ferrets, mate. And if, and if the rabbits run out that way, they're probably uh, going to get caught by the dogs anyway. But I might start them up this end. All right, Fang, hang on, mate. Start them up here. One there, one there. One in there, one in there. Jess and Fang. So Kevin's place is straight across there. There's some sand pits right over there that I was doing. And this is just that paddock where I showed you before. There's a few burrows out in the open. More than I thought. 
Oh, dog's heard something. You're more than likely to try and head that way. I'll see how they bolt. If they're not bolting easy, I'll chuck in another couple of ferrets. These are a bonus because all, all the uh, all the burrows I knew about were, were out that way. Didn't even know these ones were out here. Goes right down down there, so it's pretty big this burrow underground. And it's deep, it's very deep. Move, move. Move fleet. Fleet move. Good boy. Here goes Jess. Yeah, I might, it's such a big burrow. It's going to take them a while to work and I might just drop in another couple of ferrets. Only because it's so big and there's so much ground from the cover on the ground. You know, you see these passages above ground, but you learn after a while when you've dug a few, for every passage you see up, up above ground, there's at least three or four underground. So it's a lot of ground for them to cover. There is a little bit of digging around here, so... I am expecting to get something. Oh look, the dog's got one already. Caught it right on the hole. Good boy, Fleet. Bring him to me. You killed him. Nice rabbit. Didn't even see it, the dog caught it. Alright, who do we want? Let's grab a few of them. Hello, he's look pretty good. Is that Mini? Yeah, I'll put Chuck Mini in as well. So we'll have six ferrets in there. Push these rabbits out. Chewy. Chub. Mini. And Tilly. Mini. Now we'll see him go here in there. So Fleet caught that one on his own without the net. I didn't even see it because I was getting the ferret out. Zip heard something. Her legs hurt now too, I can tell. Oh, look at that. They're running everywhere. Bang. All right, mate. Fleet, fleet. He's going mad because he's seen other rabbits run out. There's a few in these burrows, mate. Whew, there's another one. Good dogs. Good boy.
Move fleet. Oh yeah, Zip caught one then. Good girl, Zip. Good girl, Zip. Ooh. Oh, we just missed it. Here's a few in here. I'm still trying to fix this net up. Well, these burrows are loaded. So they haven't been shooting them, that's for sure. Three and one on the car. That's it. Ooh. The girl's zip. Good boy, Fleet. Good boy, get him. Bring him to me. Good boy. Another four. Oh, that answers that question, whether there's any in there. But as the ferrets come up, I'll pick them up. Only because it's starting to get too hot. Dogs are starting to struggle a bit. And Zip's going to stay in the shade. like Jess or Fang. Jess. Oh, it's Minnie, is it? Yeah, Minnie. Take these rabbits. I might drive the car over there. One, two, three, four. Jeez, it's getting warm. So we got five out of there so far. One on the back of the car and the four in my hand. And that one. And those four. I'll just move the car forward. rabbits. I'm glad I stopped and did it. I won't do any more today, that's getting way too warm. There's Chewy down the bottom. Da, 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 da. Little baby came out and back down. Big Chewy up. He's done a bit of work today.
four ferrets still down. Jeez, Jess. Jess and Tilly. Some more rabbits in here, mate. I don't know there is for sure. Ferrets love that liver, mate. Top, 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 top. It's like chess. Chess and fang. Top, 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 top. Actually, yeah, it's just that's fang back down. Good girl, chess. Three to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, three to go. Bang chub. Bang and hold on, is it chub? Did I put chub down? Yeah, chub's one of them. There's bang. I want to stick one over in that burrow over there. Dot, 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 dot. Beautiful ferret, mate. Just like his dad. He's so much like his old man. Stunning ferret, mate. Dot, 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 Again, have a look at that one, mate. Oh, there's one. Go get him! Oh. Good girl, Zip. Bloody fleet hit the net till three times. Good girl, Zip. Good boy, fleet. Foxes will be round tonight for their guts unless the hawks get it first. So next time I come out, I'll do the one that's over there, couple on the fence, and the other ones that are out in the open. Tilly. The ferrets have done well today. Dogs have done pretty well. I've caught a few. Even Zip, Zip's caught a couple today. You're slowing down, mate. You normally catch just about all of them. Zip's been getting a few lately. His burrows properly. Do that one over there. Put the nets around it. And do one over there. Fill up the esky completely. You probably end up walking away with... 
30 rabbits at least. You know, I've got bloody 15 now, so. Thereabouts. You can see the dogs there hop, you know. You know it's hot when you see fleet sitting down. You hot, buddy? Oh, I know, mate. Don't worry, go in the shade. Getting antsy. Here we go. Alright, so fang and chub to go. Let's get in some water. It's fang and chub. I'll turn this camera off until they come out, guys. I don't think they're going to bolt too many more out of here, dude. Probably killing young ones. Fang and chub. Such a friendly bugger this thing. Chub. Good ferrets. Done a good job today. Come on, Chub. All right. Well, that's all the ferrets back. <laughs> Alright guys, just going to pack up and take off now, it's getting too hot. Whatever you're doing in life, make sure you enjoy it. Because it goes past just way too fast. Bye bye for now. Okay guys, all the ferrets back now, packed up, and I'm heading home. It's getting way too hot. Dogs are hot, I'm hot. Not enough clouds come over. So I'm just I'm not sure if you can get out just up here, but I'm going to have a look. There might be a few more burrows out here in the open. But anyway, um I'll come back next next time and I'll do a few more of these open paddock burrows. Why not? There's a burrow right there on the edge of the road. Probably a few in this paddock. Out in the open here. I'll have to have a real good look around. You can normally pick it because you, you get those weeds that grow around them. Anyway, hopefully this gate's open and I can just drive straight out. Otherwise I've got to go back along the fence. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, said it before, I'll say it again. It's been another fantastic day. I've really enjoyed it. And a few rabbits to boot. Whatever you're doing in life, make sure you enjoy because it goes past just way too fast. Bye for now guys.